This is the uh, question of 2017 May June paper 1 3 and the question number is uh, question number 36. So we have a potential divider circuit here as shown here. The internal resistance of the source is negligible. The resistors R1 and R2 is a variable R in series and the PD across the resistance R2 is equal to V. So now we have to identify which statement is correct. So let us first uh, be comfortable with the with the expression for the potential difference here V. So according to the potential divider formula V should be equal to equal to R2 by by R1 plus R2 and then V naught. And if I uh, denoted this PD by V prime it should be equal to V prime is equal to R1 by R1 plus R2 then V naught. Now uh, let us go uh, go by each of these statements when R1 increases it takes a greater proportion of V naught so V decreases so it means that if I do like this here so if uh, I take the ratio here, ratio V prime by V is equal to, if I divide this thing by this thing, it will be R1 by R2. So when R1 increases, uh, it takes a greater proportion of V0. That means when R1 increases, V prime increases. And so when V prime increases, when this increases, definitely V should decrease because we have again uh, v is equal to v naught minus v prime so when uh, v prime uh, increases v should decrease so choice number a seems to be correct so let's go to other choices as well when r1 increases the current through the whole thing will decrease definitely yes because current is equal to equal to v naught by r1 plus r2 so the current through R1 and R2 will decrease. But it does not ensure that V increases. Because if R2 is constant and if the current decreases, V can decrease. So this statement is <coughs> not correct. When R2 decreases, it takes a smaller proportion of V0. V0. So V increases. This is again incorrect because uh, when R2 decreases, decreases we should increase sorry we should decrease according to this statement or you can say when r2 decreases this v should decrease which is in contrast to what it is said here so not correct here now the next one is when r2 decreases when r2 decreases the current through r1 and r2 decreases when this decreases current decreases that's not true because if r2 decreases the overall resistance will decrease and I should increase. So the statement here is again wrong. So the correct choice is choice number A.